Hey guys, what's up? We're just going to do a little at zero run here. It's day four of the Parandis League. Play Parandis Softcore. This is my dual sword crit cleave berserker. Uh, we're just going to do it at zero run here to show you how the build's going. Later on, we'll do a build guide for the build. So let's go. get these coins I'm kind of low on coins right now so I do need to stop and pick those up kind of want that jewel also For the Vols, going to keep the same flask setup we're currently, I don't want that, flask setup we're currently using. Guess we might as well make a TP. First thing we're going to do is during the initial summon, we are going to build up frenzy charges on this guy. Then we'll come over here and kill this one. Come on, balls. So we just face tank through all the ball stuff there. Whatever. And now we'll go back to our increased AoE. And for the next fight against the trio, we need extra armor. So we're going to sub in a granite flask for our silver flask and make our way over to the trio. The game just goes freaking slideshow mode when you run into a Ferrandis pack. But I know GGG are working on making that better. What is going on? Oh, that's why I was like, what is going on with this guy? He was inside the bubble and I was not inside the bubble. Oh, hey, cool. Maelstrom of Chaos. All right, for Trio, we just need to take out, uh, Quill Rain bitch first, and after that, the order doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Just trying to sort out some stuff with these here. 48. Alright, yeah, so I do want to level those. Boom. Alright, let's go. Did I put in Conk Effect? No, I didn't. Definitely want Conk Effect on there. Okay. So again, we just sit and face tank these guys. That was close. Bleed almost got us. Uh, just to be safe here, because I don't have a health flask, we're just going to do a quick port out and back in to refill our health. I mismanaged my flasks there a little bit, so almost didn't have a bleed flask ready. But we're okay. Alright, and then for Itziri, we don't need the 
the salt or the uh, granite because her spears don't, they just don't do enough damage to matter. So we'll swap in resist flasks and just reorganize a little bit there. And should be good to go. Did I get increased AOE in? All right. I do not feel like picking up every pair of sorcerer boots I come across and chancing them to try for Skyforths. Get this Prandus chest. What's that? Six link fall regalia. That's cool. All right. Let me just double check that I have my flasks right. Yeah. Okay. Conk fact in. annoying. She looks like she's low enough that she probably could have just gone to a split phase, but she didn't. I think I actually let some in there. We're just gonna stick conk effect. It doesn't matter. Our AoE is big enough. We can just hit them all anyways. Alright. So, we just want to make sure we are not aiming at the mirror one. And beyond that, it doesn't matter much. Same deal there. Don't want to eat that, even with Topaz flasks up. Oh, of course, you just had to do one more split phase. Waste my time. Oh nice, we even got a mortal piece, and we'll take that, I need that, uh, no, it's not worth it, alright, so that's it Ziri, there, I mean, there, I'll do, a, like I said, I'll do a full guide for this build coming up, but I can do a quick run through if what I'm using, um, I am the Berserker, obviously. You can see the name of the game through that whole thing is basically just face tank everything. This is what the passive tree looks like. What lets us face tank is that we are ball packed and using cloak and savagery. So whenever something hits us for more than 20% of our HP, we get 100% lifesteal and a shitload of extra damage, and then we have all packed so our lifesteal is instant, so we can basically just completely face tank anything that doesn't actually one-shot us. Got some critty stuff, like I said, we're crit, we're dual swords, I'll go through my gear real quick. This is my good sword, pretty solid. Abyssus for the hat, another sword that's not as good but not bad. Got some pretty decent jewelry. You can just pause the video and look at any of this stuff that I'm not hovering over very long. 
get a Celestial Justicar and Chaos Spam some Astral Plate. Well, actually didn't even Chaos Spam. We got this roll on the first Alk, so that was nice. Links from the main attack are Cleave, Melee Fizz, Increased Crit Strikes, Added Fire, Multi-Strike, and then Increased AoE for Mapping, Conk Effect for Bosses. And we're using Snake Bites, uh, Belt, Boots... Accuracy isn't great, but we make up for that by using snake bites with our frenzy charges. We've got seven frenzy charges, gives us lots of accuracy, and we also run blasphemy with poacher's mark. It's also why our flasks it like instantly refill when we kill anything. So thanks for watching. I'll do a more detailed build guide last time, like I did for my infernal blow marauder, and we'll catch you guys later.